throw the clay down if it's not in the middle. Scoot it to the middle. Give it a couple of good whaps with a cupped hand. Seal it down. Grab a little water. Okay. So we'll do both both centerings um, so you can see the left hand and the right hand forward methods. Get the wheel going, get a lot of water in the clay, get as close to the wheel as you can. I'm gonna use kind of this area right here on my pinky for the, or on my, on my hand, kind of right below my pinky for the pushing forward part. I'm gonna grab onto the clay, I'm gonna push forward here, I'm gonna pull back here, I'm gonna push it up to a cone. I'm gonna make a cone a little higher if I want. Just make sure that you're using enough water that you don't twist the clay off. Now to push this down, I'm gonna start up here with my left hand, pushing forward, and it's gonna go straight through to, uh, to that bone. I'm gonna push down with the side of my hand. Sometimes I'll grab onto my thumb a little bit so that I have stability. I'll push forward and I'll push down. It's nice and slow, keep it under control. As I get closer to the wheel, I'm gonna lean my body into the clay. And the clay is gonna kind of form. You can see where it's kind of sliding right there. Kind of form into my hand. I just kind of press down and press forward, lean in hard. Okay. Sometimes it doesn't quite go on on the first go, so I'm gonna reset, rewet the clay, and then relax slowly off of the clay. Okay. I'll do it with the right hand pushing forward method now. So I'm pushing forward with my right hand, pulling back here. I'm gonna use that right there. I'm gonna squish the clay up. You can see my hands stay fairly relaxed. This hand kind of turns up like that. Bring the clay up into a, a cone. If I'm pressing down with my left hand, I actually like to use the side of my thumb, which goes right there. You can see my hand's kind of on the back of the clay for me. Hands are, my thumb is right next to my, my finger right there, and it's just kind of rotating right in that spot. And then this comes up right next to it. Make sure there's no holes for the clay to squish out. I'm gonna use this part of my hand here. I'm gonna try not to bend my hand back too far. I'm kind of keeping it a little bit forward. Okay, this hand right here, it rotates. It's out of the way, and I kind of lean into the clay. And I relax off of the clay. For me, that takes a lot less effort than the other way. This way, I feel like I have to lean in really hard. This way, I don't know, somehow it just goes on center a lot better. Maybe it's just because I use that particular method um, in, my, in my studio. Okay, to drop the hole, I'm gonna keep this wrist low. I'm gonna keep this finger curled, okay? If it's flat like this, it's not gonna go down. If you have your elbow up, it's not gonna go down straight. So, um, Keep your wrist low, your elbows on your legs, and then I'm gonna press down uh, with my left hand on my right hand to drop that hole, okay? It's gonna get a little dry, so I'll get a little bit more water about halfway through. Continue pressing. I'm, I'm pulling back just a little bit as I'm pressing down. I'm pressing a lot harder with my left hand than I am with my right, okay? You notice I'm not filling that up with water, I'm just getting a drop of water on my finger and then putting that on the clay. Okay, so um, check to make sure that you have the right depth in your clay here. I might have dropped it a little bit low. So just kind of stick the needle tool down there, slide your finger in. That's a little thin, okay? So I can, I can open this up a little higher than the bottom of the hole. Um, okay. So normally, if I dropped it to the right depth, I'd start all the way down at the bottom of the hole. I'm gonna start a little bit off and up, up the wall just a little bit. Now I'm gonna pull my fingers back like this. I'm basically just using my middle finger. I'm gonna help out with my, right, or my left hand. I'm watching, I have my face over the clay so I can see what's going on. I'm gonna watch what's happening with the floor. I wanna make sure I'm pulling it straight back, okay? If if it starts going up, I need to push down with my finger a little harder. If I, if I notice it's going down a little bit, I need to not push down as hard. So it goes straight back. I'm going to seal, or I'm sorry, I'm going to compress the floor. And kind of, as I compress it, I kind of drop a little groove like that. I move the groove to the middle, and that will make that little hole that was left from dropping the, the hole a little too far, that makes that disappear. 
you go across the clay a couple times, this is gonna keep it from cracking. Okay, I'm gonna wet the clay. Okay, I'm gonna, now I'm gonna bring it up into the volcano. You can use it this way or this way. I prefer this way just because that's how I do it. And I'm just gonna fold up and in. I have my elbow braced so that my clay, the clay doesn't push my hand around. I'm just kind of lifting and folding my hands. Okay, now I'm gonna pull back and do the heavy metal hands kind of thing. And I'm just gonna pull back ever so slightly, just to establish that groove on the inside. I'm barely doing anything there. Okay, first pull. I'm gonna half a Fonz or hitchhike. I'm gonna move this finger forward. Keep your thumb straight. Turn your hand 90 degrees and that goes right there on the clay. Okay, so your thumb should be, if you draw a line through the center of your body, through like your belly button to the the, the center of the clay, your thumb should be on the other side of that line. So there's that line, my finger's that line, the thumb's on the other side. This is pushing forward. I'm gonna lean over here. I'm gonna kinda lean onto this arm just a little bit. I don't want it to plant it in my leg. If I plant it in my leg, it's it's gonna go like this. I need to be still move um, mobile with it, um, but it it's gonna be kind of like right in that kind of, kind of nook by, between my leg and my body. I'm gonna push forward, I'm gonna pull back. This is gonna be kind of a long C, and that goes right here. I like to stick this finger out. These three fingers kind of go in and help out. They need to be right across from each other, okay? So this finger and that finger, right in. That spot right there, okay? That's the spot that's pushing on the clay. And this and that finger need to be right across from each other. Okay, this is gonna pull back, this is gonna push forward. My hands are always connected as much as they can be. There will come a time when the cylinder will be too tall and your hands won't be able to reach, but until then, try to keep your hands connected. So this thumb either goes here or here, either in that nook there or on top. It's not squeezing, okay? This thumb isn't doing much of anything, it's just kind of there, okay? So this is pushing on the clay, this is pulling back. I'm gonna grab onto that clay on the inside and I lift my hands up. This outside hand pushes the clay this way, the inside hand grabs onto that groove and lifts it up. And it starts out at kind of an angle like that and then it kind of smooths as I go up. Okay, so now I have my first pull. It's not a bad idea to compress the cylinder, or the, sorry, to compress the lip. And that, the way that I did that was I just kind of put my fingers around the clay like that. And I press down with that little web of skin there. It's kind of short, so you have to kind of get your fingers out of the way. Try not to stab the, the cylinder in the process. Okay, so I'm going to make a groove on the side. I like to do it with a sponge um, on my finger, but I'm going to do it without the sponge so you can see the movement. Okay, so this finger is here. I'm pulling back. My left finger is on the inside of the clay right about 5 o'clock. I'm going to press down with my middle finger of my right hand. I turn my hand upside down. You can see my hands are still connected. You'll remove a little bit of clay there, but most of the clay is gonna kinda go up into this bump here. Okay. Now, I like to, you can do it without a sponge or with a sponge. Um, so again, I'm gonna go hitchhiking, move that finger forward, and then drop that down like that. This little part right here, that goes in the clay, okay? That goes in there. My thumb goes on the bump, okay? It's just on there, it's not doing anything. It's just kind of, it's kind of keeping my hand in the right position. Make sure the clay is wet. I like to put a sponge in my hand, I just kind of do that. This keeps the clay from kind of packing into that spot. Push forward, pull back. I'm gonna grab onto that groove. This finger has to pull back hard enough to keep a bump on the outside. I grab onto that groove. And the outside hand just lifts that groove up and I turn my thumb down a little bit and that guides the cylinder up and in. The first, the first cylinder is a cone, the second, second pole is a slightly less coney cone, and then the third, third pole will be a cylinder. Okay. I'm gonna make another groove, push down, go up and under. Now you can use the same technique like this and pull up that groove. Um, usually in my studio what I'll do instead of doing that is I'll use 
my fingertips to make the pole. Um, and I, I just like to hold on to a sponge. I don't know why. Um, it's like a comfort, comfort blanket kind of thing. I have that, that finger in the groove, and this is on the bump. And then my hands are connected. And they're kind of at an upward angle. So I'm pulling the clay up. Okay. As I get towards the top of the cylinder, I kind of lighten my pressure so it evens out the cylinder. You kind of have to feel the thickness of the clay between your fingers. It's not something that you probably know right now, um, but after you do this for a little bit, a little while, you'll kind of get the feel of what it's supposed to feel like between your fingers. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that excess clay, that kind of screwed of clay on the outside. Hold it kind of like a chopstick. Put this hand here. I want to make sure that this edge kind of comes to here and my hand isn't in the way. Okay, so I'll put my thumb here, I'll push this up against the clay, and then I move that down the side of the clay, like that. And then you can go underneath it with your needle tool, stop the wheel, cut it, remove it, oops, try not to damage your cylinder. Find that. Most of the time, I'm most, my most, my biggest enemy as far as like getting these things off of the wheel, fingerprints and that sort of thing. Okay, so now I'm gonna remove the slip from the outside. I have my metal rib. I'm gonna use the round part. I just kind of lay it in my fingers and I'm gonna press with my thumb just to make it curved a little bit and that'll keep it rigid. This is about a 45 degree angle to the clay and now I'm gonna pull, pull the clay with my fingers into the tool. I'm not trying to make it thinner, I'm just trying to make the outside kind of nice. You can leave the throw rings. I just find that it's a lot easier to pick up the clay if you get rid of that, all that slip on the outside. Okay, now I'm gonna grab a sponge. There's water, a little bit of water on the inside. Um, I'm just gonna hold it with my fingertips like that and I make my hand as small as I can. And then with the wheel moving, I just kind of press it down and get rid of that clay. I'm going to take my knife, I'm going to score underneath the thing so the wire has a place to go. And of course I don't have a wire. Can somebody grab a wire from the table behind you? Please. Thank you. Clean the wire off. I'm going to wrap it, hold it with my pinkies, wrap it around my hand push down with my thumbs and slide it back towards you, like that. Scrape all the slip off your hands. You can see I'm using opposite sides of the bucket. I wipe on my, my, my legs there. And then I kind of put my hands around the clay like this, give it a little wiggle, and it'll come off. So I'm lifting it just like this, okay? There's another way to remove your piece from the wheel, okay? It's to slide it off. So if the, the piece is really slippery and you're and wiggly and you can't pick it up, what you can do is you can take a little water, put a little water on the wheel, maybe a little water over here, and then you're gonna take your wire, carefully try not to kink it, you're gonna do the same thing with your thumbs and you're gonna slide that water underneath the piece. And then I'm gonna take and I'm gonna spin it just a little bit and that gets it hydroplaning, okay? Then you need to remove your splash pan, which is a little annoying. You have to do this every time you want to remove a piece. Okay, and then you can slide it either right onto a board or slide it onto your hand and then put it onto the board. Okay, you just have to be kind of careful with it. Okay, that's that. Make sure if you do slide it off, you don't slide it right or you don't put it directly onto a board. Um, you want to put the newspaper between it. So can you hand me the newspaper thingy there, please? Oh, the, the board and the newspaper, sorry. So if you just put it right on the board, that water will stick it to the board and we won't be able to get it off. And it makes the boards more difficult to clean. So just put the piece of newspaper there um, and that'll make everything easy to clean up later. So that is that. Go ahead.